Hey there guys, gonna go live here again, just to continue to work on this baby here. I did just a little bit of work off stream, but I think it'll be just fine. Um, I won't be doing like the whole making of, just five second increments over time. And uh, maybe when I get better software I'll do better, in terms of maybe uh, like a fast forwarding the, the thing just to make it all in the same screen but just fast forward that kind of thing anyway so this is where we've gotten to so far and uh, I would say that it's coming along about as well as I had imagined it to be and so let's continue don't forget there are always the links in the description to all kinds of channels that you might find interesting there's also the link to uh, Art of War by Sun Tzu highly recommend getting that involved in your life I know it's changed my life for the better. I'm sure it can for you, too. And let's continue on with some music. So, essentially, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to... I, I want this to be separated. I want these two to be separated and going straight up. So, what I'm going to do is reinforce this area here to pinch this closed to about as close as, uh, uh, you know, a reasonable distance. Uh, this is too wide right now. In fact, I would go as far as saying that that might be wide enough just to get that close enough there. That might be good. It's, it might have to be good because it's about as far as it'll go. But what I have to do is essentially get that get that in the middle and uh, uh, kink the wire. I'm just going to guesstimate the center because I'm pretty sure I won't need so much, but it's always good to have a lot. And uh, I'm going to do the curve side down. That'll make this the curve side up on here. Just kind of trying to keep it consistent here. Just be careful when you do that because there might be burrs on the wire, so maybe it's not a good idea to run your hand through it. Try for this. It's really kind of a shot in the dark. I think that'll be just fine. So Brian and King and I were um, going back and forth with some ideas, and uh, as much as I want to, um, I, I, excuse me, I want to make this as beautiful as possible, and so that might require me getting out the power tools, <laughs> and uh, maybe making a wood stand uh, that'll actually do this thing a little bit of justice, because I need to put a light in there. Um, and I gave myself quite a bit of room under there, so this thing is actually too small anyway. So, um, I need to come up with a base that is going to complement this, uh, piece here. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, there's a few ideas that I can go with. And of course, you know, we've got my tiara here. Tiara, frig, excuse me. It's called a frig. We're just going to go ahead and start calling it a frig, guys. Because I think that it's important to get the names right. And uh, as, as unfortunate that... 
might still have to call it sort of like a tiara in terms of the description uh, for the sake of YouTube algorithms, but uh, I think we're technically going to have to call this a freak since that's the closest that, that we can come up with. Brian King came up with that. Alright, so... That's straight. Just trying to think of how I might go about um, attaching these. I have the option, since it's going to be dead center, and there's three of them, I actually have the option of making this a patterned piece, and uh, I think I intend to. It's going to require a really long strand of the wire I need, so uh, I think I'm going to take a moment to do that. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is correct the length in this there Let's point it up put this over here take a swig of my drink yes I know I'm cheating on Big Red but I don't have any more so All they gotta do is just give me a lifetime supply and that would be my obituary. He drowned in what he loved. <laughs> Though I think that would be uh, probably my, what is that called, uh, epitaph? Probably be my epitaph anyway. Round it. Probably got to stand up for this one. Should have done this before I went live. Oh well. You know, I suppose it doesn't have to be extremely long, just really long. This might be able to do it. Oh, you're fine, dude. Good to have ya.
I guess I could do it from the chair. From a rogue nation. From rogue nation. Pretty sweet. Why me too? There's a few point, few more bumps. Well, I guess it's not super heavy, five pounds max. So I don't think it would be impossible for sure. We'd have to figure out a way to make it magnetic though, because the copper is not going to want to, not going to want to um, cooperate. For sure, man. Oh, thanks, dude. I really think it's coming out the way I was uh, planning it to. And uh, the, even funny enough, there's like a, you know, a kind of a little heart in there if you if you use your imagination. I, I mean, a heart was one of the options, right? Uh, um, I just didn't want it to be informal. Right, I wanted it to to represent um, the kind of commemoration of 45 years of commitment, you know. And I don't think a heart would do it much justice, right? Something more thought and original is what I guess I'm trying to say. Something like a monument, right? Like a heart isn't a monument. Right, that, that's something like a monument. A, a, uh, yeah. Little trophy, like a statue. Yeah, I mean, let's hope that. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess it could work if, uh,. If it's like totally balanced, I, I I hope it's totally balanced. It'd certainly be really cool. I like the idea of making it touch though, to where we kind of hook it up to the thing and making it uh, where you just touch it and it turns the light in the uh, on, and then you know red, blue, pink, you know red, blue, green, white, or whatever the colors are, and then like you know all the variations of colors and then off. Or even dimness. Pound and a half? I mean, I guess maybe I'm just being too... Um, I just don't know what five pounds is. It could be about a, two pounds or so. And now to where you have yourself a good day, man. I want to do my best to have one too. Yeah, you don't want to... Let your be the wow factor, yeah. I still think that the cube is a perfect... The cube would be a good idea. Like, let's take a look at the bottom here. It, it could, it could, re you know, like, have a, have a hole about the size of this uh, area here. Yeah. I don't know, it's, just, it's hard to tell. It would lay flat at that point, have the hole here, and that way the uh, light comes up through the, the middle of the uh, wood. 
Of course, what would be a bad idea, though, maybe I should put a metal sheet of, uh, of metal inside there as well. Oh, yeah, like, um, make it stained and stuff like that, yeah. Or paint it entirely black would also be a good one. I've got plenty of experience with, uh, with working with wood. I don't even mean that as a gay joke. Just kind of started making me think of one. <laughs> dark wood yeah I'm I know the Hobby Lobby has good like cubes of just bare wood um, I might have to order something like an ebony dark or excuse me a uh, ebony dark wood that sounds expensive but I can always stain it maybe even do I think I have a router as well like I have relative access to our workshop. It's essentially a storage unit just converted into a workshop. And uh, um, I could actually do something quite nice um, out of wood. Uh, so I think I'm going to try my best to do that. I have until I think it was September to get this thing done. So I think we're making pretty good progress. Okay, let me get to work. Here, fiddle in my thumbs. Twiddling. 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 Oh, yeah? Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what my options are. Um, when I get around to, um, getting the LED and stuff like that. I might have to order some or find a, a serious, a hobby shop. Like an electric, electric, electrical hobby shop, that kind of thing. Right. Oh. I thought they just had, uh, um, it was one that's white, one that's, uh, no, it was red, blue, and green, and that way all three of them on would be in white. Is that right, if I understand correctly? It's been a long time since I've been to grade school. The primary colors. Let's see if I can make this work. So the idea is going to be to have three middle, three all the way wide, then three middle, three all the way wide, all the way up. Or not all the way, but, you know, up enough. second to get it started. Any 
When you need more hands, just use your mouth. <laughs> I did not. I came out gay as hell. It's like, my goodness. Must be a frisky morning. Yeah, I think that's gonna work. does not want to cooperate. have to do This one's getting this one's really tough to get started. Maybe I'll get I'll bend that a little bit out of the way. <laughs> Here's another chip of my nail polish. just awful. Let's see if I can fix that. I see what you're saying, yeah, it's gonna, it requires more electronics. For sure, yeah, definitely. Oh, awesome, you'll fiddle with them? Yeah, I was, uh, um, I was just thinking about it, and I was like, you know what, if we just, if we could make it to where you could touch it to turn it on, that would be just so freaking awesome. That way you don't have to deal with, like, any switch or anything like that on the outside of it. Which would still be possible, I mean, all I would have to do is just make a space for it.
go. That'll just have to do. It just occurred to me that uh, on one side it looks a certain way, and then on the other side it looks it's the same pattern, but um, sorry, it's it's the same consistency of pattern, just a different a different pattern. But I think since it's going to be consistent anyway, I'm going to leave it the way it is. Still has one of those lamps? Hell yeah. Now I grew up with one of those lamps. Yeah. No, it's an awesome lamp, that's for sure. This is working out. Very awesome. Just slow going, that's all. I got this bug that keeps wanting to fly into my eyeball. So that's not a safe place for bugs, little guy. Oh yeah? Man, I, I know that I, if I, I think Radio Shack, isn't that something that Radio Shack would have? Um, I guess I've never, I don't know how, I've only been at Radio Shack maybe once or two, once or twice in my life. And, uh, uh I just don't know, maybe anywhere that's, uh, awesome, yeah. That seems like somewhere it would be. What's up, Storm Hunter? How's it going, man? Hope your day is doing well. Let me take a look at what I'm working on.
This is the uh, concept we're going for. So uh, imagine that. That's what I'm trying to make here. Just happy this morning. That's awesome. Oh, I really appreciate that, Brian King. Man, you know, I, I, uh, I was definitely gonna defer to you at the uh, at the end of the day, anyway. <laughs> so um, it'd be really interesting to to get to do that myself with uh, with some instruction from someone who knows what he's doing. <laughs> Cause like I said, I got my I've got my uh, soldering iron right here. I actually tried to, to to do some soldering on this, and it didn't really work out. Even when I used a bunch of the flux, it still wound up turning into a nasty chunk of whatever chunk of growth. I suppose if I had a powerful oven, it might work. Yeah, I might have caught wind of it. At least some wind. <laughs> Ay, yeah, man, I freaking always hit my damn elbow. It's like right here is the corner of my desk. In fact, I've actually got a scab from. I actually got a scab from hitting the damn thing so hard. Come on. Anyway, take my word for it. Yeah, we had a long discussion about it. I just hope we start doing those uh, Art of War videos again. I know I was really interested in that. Or those knife, um, those knife, uh, videos, I guess I could call it.
It's getting a little warm. I think I might turn on the air. Maybe need to take off my shoes. Put them back in. What? Put them back in. What? Silly goose. Oh, maybe you meant on. Oh, yeah, there we go. On. No, I pride myself in having very, um, not stinky feet. My secret is changing my socks more than once a day. Do that, and you'll always have new smelling shoes. There are some days, of course, when you can't get, uh, can't just stop what you're doing and change your socks but uh, what you gotta do is just essentially get some talcum powder and um, um, just fill your shoes up with it after you take them off when you get home or whatever the powder that is my brother's feet on the other hand yeah not so fresh Alright, so let's take a look at uh, what we're dealing with there. So it's three short, three long, three short, three long. And, but uh, check on the other side. So you got two short in the middle there, two medium, and two long. So it's one medium, two short, one medium, two long, one medium, two short, one medium. So it's still a pattern, it's just a different pattern from the other side. Gnarly looking, yeah. Ow. Yeah, yeah, that sort of thing. If you don't take care, if you don't take good care of your feet, you're uh, you run the risk of getting sick very easily. Um, it's like a feet are the epicenter of where illnesses derive. Always practice good hygiene. Always do the right thing and don't forget to do your homework. Quoting a uh, cyanide and happiness. Shark rat? Oh no! Oh, I see, yeah. Let's 
so in a moment we're gonna take a step back and see what what uh, what the next step is. See if it's tall enough, or if I can stop here and. Nope, that's definitely needing to be much taller. Yeah, I think that might work. Ah, man. Ooh! Phew! I'm actually, uh, embarrassingly now, I'm dealing with a, uh, with two, um, planter's warts right on the very f middle of the pad of my big toe on the left foot. And, um, it is so incredibly painful to deal with. I've been, I've been trying to treat it for about, uh, six weeks now, and, uh, that's only halfway done on the bottle, so, you know, the bottle says 12 weeks. And uh, the more and more I go, so I take a razor and I and I and I'll, and I'll actually go uh, down to um, below the scab and apply it again. And just I'm just trying to get I'm just trying to get it out. You know, I'm carving the shit out of my foot, and I'm getting it. Uh, I did. I'm getting a bunch of Discord stuff. Or maybe I got a message. No, it's just Discord. Man, I got a long way to go. I'm glad I grabbed enough wire, or a lot of wire, I should say. Oh yeah, I um, my I have somebody who he create uh, collects a lot of scrap metal, and uh, he saw me working on my first um, my first bonsai tree with uh, well soldering wire. I have some around here to show you, but I'm sure you know what soldering wire is. Man, I thought I had some. I thought I had some right in front of me. Here it is. Yeah, I made my first tree out of uh, soldering wire, and he was like, "You know what? I got I got copper if you want some wire." So um, he actually called me the other day to see if I needed any more. 
I might take him up on it now. Kinda need more of this gauge. gonna rest my hands for a couple seconds. Let's take a look at this thing. Ah, come on. It is just so beautiful. I'm just gonna go mute for a second. Do you really need or want his apology, though? I mean, to me it just doesn't seem like it really would mean anything anyway. <laughs> and as far as he's told me, he said he owned it. You know, hopefully he learns his lesson. Because let's face it, uh, um, Storm Hunter, you're not innocent in this situation either. Not in regards to lying, I'm talking about in regards to behavior. Would you agree? Oh, okay. I mean, would you say that uh, that your behavior towards Lou is is appropriate in any other con uh, sense? You know, I mean, I, I stopped going into y'all's live streams because it was just nothing but, you know, nasty things, and you know, it just wasn't fun to be in there anymore. It's, uh, it's just like what I tell Lou, you know, both parties have the option to ignore the other person. You get what you dish out? Sure, but that re that also applies to you, Storm Hunter. If you don't stop, it'll never stop. If Lou doesn't stop, it will never stop, right? So as long as there's both parties doing something, then there's really no sympathy for whatever happens to either of you, because both of you are behaving like, you know, 
schoolyard children. There's nothing particularly wrong about that. It's just, hey, you know, if that's how you want to be viewed, that's up to you. It's up to you and Lou. Or, Lou, you know, everybody. Group counseling with honest gas. And don't get me wrong, I'm just as hard on Lou as I am with you. Hell, I'm just as hard on myself. I said hard on. LOL. Stab in my hand. Like, a, I think you're just gonna have to drop it at some point, bro. Like, like, are you gonna teach your child to just blow up every time somebody talks bad about them? You know, this, we're talking about the internet here. You know. Like, um, the appropriate way to handle a situation where someone's talking smack about your family is to be like, well, they're wrong. It, I mean, is that, uh, is that an unreasonable reaction to just, to just know that they're wrong about what they say and, and it be done? I mean, that's, that's at least how I handle the situations. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you can hate the guy. There's nothing wrong with that, bro. I mean, if he's done you wrong, right? And if if uh, uh, and Lou thinks the same way, that kind of thing. If both of you think that you've that you've been done wrong by the other person, why on earth would you spend so much energy on it? It's it's it doesn't accomplish anything except, I don't know, um, appeasing your ego or something. It just. Um, to me, it just doesn't make much sense. Me, I want to be friends with both of you. I want you guys to both be in, uh, to enjoy yourselves in my stream and, and enjoy the art and share what you guys are proud of and, and share the things that you care about in your life. But all you guys want to do is bark at each other and, and uh, say nasty things. You know, you're always welcome here, Storm Hunter. I, I want you to know that. Everybody is always welcome here. And uh, if I have to put my foot down, I don't want to. I don't want to put my foot down. But I am going to have to start drawing a line between my art and discussion. And uh, part of the Discord is that I'm really interested in getting it, getting the Discord rolling so that if there is something that needs to be brought up, a discussion that people want to talk about, then I'd be happy to go on immediately after my live stream if I can and uh, um, and talk about it because I still want to do the I still want to do the um, uh, discussion thing it's just it's really coming into uh, it's coming it's harming my art channel yeah but okay I get that right I get that you got that freedom to do that storm hunter but why like how could that possibly be worth your time he said nasty things about you man get over it right that's I don't want you to but if that's what you feel like man then you take it easy bro I I hope that you can find some peace in your life that you won't spend an awful lot of time just thinking negatively about somebody who is 
quite literally, we're, uh, he, he's just a guy on the internet, bro. Right? That's all Lou is. He's a guy on the internet. I, that's, I guess that's all I have to say about it. I hope you do well. Please say hello to your family for me. Or goodbye, I guess. that'll do uh, please join my discord uh, storm hunter if you're available that's where the discussion can be or excuse me if you're still here is what I should say links in the description Uh, if you post anything, it's got to be art. For sure, man. I, I think I'm done with the, with the talking. Or at least about that, you know. That's a long-standing drama between Lou and um, Storm Hunter. I wound up in the middle of it. to do another wire so that first one wasn't long enough interesting all right so just in case nobody oh geez got a bunch of message restricted it's fine So uh, when I try to anchor things like this, right, if I need to continue this, I will put this in a very, um, uh, obs not obscure, but I'm going to try and hide it as much as possible. So I'm going to stick it in this area here, and, uh, and we're going to start off the next one right next to it, or right up against it. back take a look at it real quick these will actually be up more well I'm, I'm not gonna bother with it too much dang it I want to compromise the strength of the wire doing that too much I wonder if I should hey yeah
Oh, that's gonna be really difficult. It's not gonna be enough anyway. Sorry, just looking through my scrap real quick. <laughs> Not long enough. <sighs> I don't know about flames. They're going to be more like uh, spires, like triangular shaped... Uh, kind of like a abstract wings, right? Um, uh, whether that be s three pairs of wings or just like one big one, and we'll see how that turns out. But there's also a split here, so it's it's got more definition, more dimension to it. Yeah, they'll certainly be connected to each other, but it'll it's a it's kind of a tier system almost, a three tier system there. So what I'm gonna try and do here is I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best to tighten up this close. Jeez. It's not long enough again. <laughs> This is ridiculous. Uh, where is my big pair of players? I'll just do it like this. Awesome. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Hmm. It definitely is a thought. I would find it somewhat difficult to accomplish that at this point in the project. It wouldn't be impossible, but... Yeah... I'm not sure I'll be able to make it like that. Maybe. We'll see after uh, I get to a certain point. I wonder if that's going to be long enough to finish that. Only one way to find out, but I think I'll save that for something else. I'll grab this one. No, it's a good idea though. 
I think if I had planned that from the beginning, it would be a bit different. Or, excuse me, it would be uh, something I could do. That's another reason why I need to get another stand, is because somewhere on this thing has to be a plaque. So, uh-oh. Uh, so the name is going to be, uh, it's going to have to be a, a custom stand anyway, or a something along the lines of not that. It's got to be bigger than that, for sure. Oh, right. incorporate form file well I want to do like a plaque I think a plaque will probably be the best thing to use um, because anything I do in letters or in uh, oh I guess I see what you're saying uh, like the wings uh, being four wings and five feathers it's something like that um, I don't know I might go with the plaque in the end looking at the wrong thing. So, let's not screw up the pattern here. Nope. Ah. Back on track. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Literally. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, for sure. It might. Uh, it might be that I add some stuff at the end of it. You know, like maybe some aluminum, some places. I don't want it to be too complicated because it's already forty dollars just for the crystal. I would hate for him to have to spend, you know, hundreds of dollars on this. I asked him if he wanted a, a price range 
But I'm going to try and keep it under 100. Um, we'll discuss the price when it's done. I'm not really sure, um, yeah, it's, it's hard to know. I think it's hard to know. Maybe I just have trouble putting a price on art. <laughs> I certainly have no experience with buying art. Maybe some furry art way back when, but, uh, you know, not a lot. In fact, it might actually already be over a hundred just in labor and materials. So far, the the uh, last stream I think was about two and a half hours, uh, or something like that. So we're already looking at, a, at about a hundred so far. I'm developing another callus there. I mean, maybe you're right. It'd be interesting to get that much for this. I definitely like it. I know that if it wasn't a commission, I would definitely keep it. <laughs> it's like hard to let go of the crystal, let alone the uh, the entire thing. I know that what it represents means a lot to who's going to have it. So I, I feel a lot better knowing that it'll be appreciated. I suppose there's always the ability to make payments. If it comes down to uh, that sort of thing. He didn't seem terribly concerned about the price, uh, about worrying about the price, so I'll just have to worry about it when, when we get down, get down to it. Certainly, I don't like to work for less than ten dollars an hour if I'm gonna if I'm gonna be bothered. I'm not. Excuse me. I'm not being bothered by making this. I'd make it for free if I could afford it.
40 hours I don't know I don't know about 40 hours um, at this stage it's uh, close to 50% done I would say still have some work to do in terms of uh, creating the shape and things like that and then possible decorations added to it Southern Bell hello check it out that's what it looks like so far just adding a, uh, a bar in the middle there so we've got three strands of wire insist on a budget for sure yeah I mean you know we're, we're working it out I've only been working on it for about at the very most five hours so we're we're still doing good I guess you know what you're right though Brian King that because under a hundred bucks is actually kind of unfeasible at this point uh, just in the math because if I'm making a custom box too so oh yeah for sure and I didn't I really didn't want to but uh, anything that was less expensive than that was smaller or not as pretty a, um, a stone. Uh, amethyst turned out to be a really beautiful crystal to get. Uh, I was actually expecting to get something like a granite maybe. I think a granite piece would have been really nice but it didn't seem like they had any of those. There was actually one about this size in this, but um, it's not going to luminesce as well. Um, in fact, let me actually test it out. Yeah, see, it doesn't luminesce at all. There's no, um, it doesn't see through at all. So I'm glad I got the amethyst. Expectations up front. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, um, you're right, guys. I, I do need to, to get on, uh, get a hold of with that. Probably indicative of my nature, I guess, huh? It's like I really just want to do it for free if I could afford it. I ouch. In fact, it'd be really interesting to see if uh, if I wound up with lots of money, um, whether I stop doing these or continue without having to you know worry about selling them or anything. Just like donate them to museums or something. So my dad does. He's got some work in places. Really would like to show off what my dad can do, but I don't want to expose him to. The YouTube world, his clientele are uppities, wealthy people. Although I do have that wood burning. It's actually laser etched, laser burning. 
you've consistently raised your prices? Yeah, for sure. I, I uh, um, like, especially when I did my first set of trees, right? Like this, uh, you know, this is not good enough. Right. That's not good enough. It's pretty and all, but it's not magnificent. It's not amazing, right? This one, this one is amazing, right? Um, and I actually did this one before I did this one. So it's a, it's a shoot and miss uh, with, my, with my skills, that's for sure. But I love that kyanite crystal on the bottom there. And the little uh, low-hanging branch. Uh, this one's actually got crystals all in the trunk there. It's see-through. No, and I'm glad you guys are talking to me about it, because, um, me, I'm just so oblivious on a lot of things. I still need to get my damn Etsy going. That just, you know, all this time I have on my hands, and I still haven't done my Etsy. Yeah, <laughs> I see. Yeah, I, I've I've heard, certainly heard of those situations where, um, like my dad was saying, he was some of his best work. It's the same thing for him. Some of his best work is, uh, or excuse me, some of his favorite work is the least popular, and uh, some work that he didn't even hardly work hard on, you know, has got all the attention. Let's take a look. Uh, let's take a look at what Dad's done. So this is a, a laser etching of a, uh, a picture that he's taken with infrared camera and uh, he was trying to figure out something new that's not really done a lot um, and so the laser is more intense the darker the pigment so with the infrared it can really distinguish the lights and colors I'm oh, sorry the darks and uh, lights and so um, just you have to tweak it a little bit because sometimes it'll burn too deep and um, and it'll do the details so let's take a look it's actually just a test piece too so right okay You can see it's it's textured. And uh, um, let's take a look at the bark. There's quite a gap there. It feels exactly like bark. It really does. Very incredible. Uh, this piece is actually hanging in a Smithsonian in Tennessee. I'm trying to remember what it's called. It's a, it's a Smithsonian of either natural history or, or something like that. It's not the laser burning. It's the... Um, the laser burning it's the um what's the sub substrate you'll have to you'll have to explain what that is oh you're talking about the material um plywood the layered wood nice nice plywood <laughs> 
Yeah, plywood, yeah. It's, um... It only burns through the top layer, and the rest of them are just strength, I guess. And, uh, um... That's just a test piece as well. The finished product is pretty amazing. Very, very detailed. It actually has a bark border around it too. I'm gonna have to totally get a picture of that when I go to go back to Dad's at some point soon. Sorry, I'm always hearing noises out there. I wanna always check. And uh, that's, he took that picture in Africa, of course. Um, he goes so, sometimes more times in a year than others. Um, but this time around, he was driving around America for six months. Well, I think it wound up being four because yeah, I think he had to come back early. Just going around America, taking pictures. Pretty amazing, I'm living the American dream. He actually came to America uh, on a scholarship to become a pastor, I think it was, in a Christian college. And uh, that's when he met my mom and, um, uh, you know, became a U.S. citizen and pretty much lives the American dream. And he came from dirt poor, like the poverty that you wouldn't believe in Africa. Uh, they were white, so it wasn't it wasn't so bad, I guess, for them. But um, in the sense that uh, they had to just absolutely uh, uh, scratch up a living, like it was crazy. There's nothing grand about my family either, so you know, most of them are ship. <laughs> most of them are not decent people. What the hell? from Rhodesia, by the way, which is now Zimbabwe. And just in the last year or so, the guy that my dad fought against in the um, Civil War for Independence, uh, the communists won, uh, and what was a British colonized country then became um, the uh, communist country of Zimbabwe. And uh, as soon as that happened, a little, or you know, what? I appreciate it, Brian King. I'll definitely keep that in mind. I appreciate you guys looking out for me. I, I'm gonna keep that in mind and, and uh, try and uh, I wouldn't say stand up for myself, but think think. Uh, um, in more of a way of, I'm, I'm you know I'm doing this as also as a as a way to make money kind of thing. Ay ay ay. really funny, I was actually supposed to 
continue off there, but... Oh, I think it, it's actually a good thing. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. No, yeah, it is a good thing. I think I'm going to branch those off when I get up that high. Materials times three. Whew! Oh, I see. There you go. Okay, that's an interesting thing there. Yeah, I asked him, but he said not to worry about it. About the budget. And uh, I'm also keeping him posted with the updates and stuff like that. How much time and whatnot. Really excited to make that box, too. That'd be something I'd be really interested in getting into, is making mural boxes. It's hard to believe that I'm going to have to work with even thicker wire here pretty soon, is that, uh, um, um... I'm kind I, I wouldn't say I'm running out of this stuff, I'm just kind of running low. Um, and uh, I suppose I could go and get some more here pretty soon, but I would really prefer to use up what I've already got before I got asking him for more. Because I definitely stockpiled quite a bit when I got it last. He's like, here, here, here. I'm like, whoa, hey, awesome, thanks. <laughs> I don't want to say no. And then, of course, that aluminum, that was awesome. For sure, I'll definitely keep that in mind. I'll try and be brave. It's funny, I actually have a, uh, um, I actually have a, um, that's a, uh, milk jug as a filter for my light there. getting sore, getting raw. You can start using three fingers maybe. Yeah, for sure, yeah. And I really wouldn't mind that being a goal, you know, because, um, I wouldn't. I don't mind charging a, a a bit for these tiaras, or excuse me, frigs. This is technically a tiara. I don't mind charging extra for these things because nobody makes them. You know, like like um, this is definitely a specialty item um, that hardly anyone looks for, so it's harder to sell. When I do find a sale, I want to make as much as I can. You know what I mean? Um. 
And I suppose I just have to make that same, apply that same thing to this here. Be like, there's just one of these in the world. And if all else fails, I'll just have to learn the lesson the hard way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The easy way is the hard way, though. The hard way is doing it from someone else's mistake. Right. Yeah, my dad, he's he's definitely got pretty high prices on his art. Um, but he also does, like, custom frames and stuff like that, too. So it's pretty intense. You know, he's he only goes after the, the wealthy to uh, for his clientele. People who've got a million-dollar budget to fund, you know, to uh, decorate their house. That kind of thing. I've actually met... Uh, football players, the Dallas Cowboy football players, I don't remember what their names was because I, I uh, um, you know, wasn't going to ask for their autograph while I was working, but, um, you know, I've met some pretty, uh, pretty powerful people in, in uh, going on to jobs with my dad. Not saying that football players are powerful, but, you know, they're, definitely you don't just come across football players in everyday life. <laughs> That would be nice. $55 an hour. Hi, my goodness. That would be nice. You know, I, you know what I've been watching lately? I've been binge watching uh, Sam and Max video game playthroughs. Uh, or, you know, walk, I guess, where they're just playing, no commentary, that kind of thing. And uh, that shit is hilarious. And there's so much of it, too. That's what I've been kind of doing instead of being live lately. Resting my hands if I can. When I can, I should say. Now that I got a bunch of crystals, it's going to be really hard to know. Uh, uh, it's going to be really hard to take the time to rest my hands. It's 
like making 300 oh my goodness yeah and that would be awesome in New York it's expensive to live in those big places the cities I lived in the uh, fairly rural area small town of just a uh, let's think of just a few thousand and um, I really enjoyed it but I was so far away from civilization you know all the houses were from the 1800s which was nice I really liked it I loved everything about it except for the lack of people that was my main thing is there was literally two things you could do to spare to t uh, to, to spend your time and that is go to a bar or a church and um, and that was about it you know wasn't really much else to do in that small town. Yeah, for real. Yeah, property values, that one not. <laughs> that is a lot of people. Too much, too many. Too many people. No, I just care. It's pretty amazing that that can even be achievable, right? Like, how do you get all the poop away from the cities? <laughs> how do you get all the poop of a million population away? That's that is an achievement all on its own. You know, before we can conquer space travel, we got to be able to conquer waste management of dealing with four or eight I guess is, is it how many billion now is it eight billion people on the planet now I don't know high number way too high disease have has a way of has a way of balancing out populations that have grown too high oh my gosh I split my finger. Uh, it sure does tickle. Where are my band-aids? Right. Yeah, I think that'll be a good idea. I'm gonna make sure I don't flash my <coughs> crotch at you guys. Just gotta find my band-aids real quick. Surely I didn't put them away. Found them. Oh, yeah, no, I don't, no, I don't want to go to places like that, that's for sure. You know, anywhere that there are roaming bicycle gangs that are just stealing people's purses and shit like that, I'm not going. You can't make me. In fact, I, I like to see nature from the other side of a window just like I like to see the rest of the world from the other side of a TV screen because um, yeah 
things. Like, interaction is dangerous. Yesterday, I caught this thing with my shin. Right? Like, just under the knee. And I actually saved it from getting damaged. Kind of hurt, but um, it was worth worth protecting it from the fall, which was uh, from here to the floor. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, they even had to come up with a catchy song saying, Take your poo to the loo. Take your poo to the loo. Just to get people to stop throwing their waste right out the window and into the street. Um, you know, and people walking around in their sandals and bare feet and flip-flops, literally ankle-deep in shit. Yeah, it's, it's, um, it's a bad issue. Of course, if England didn't co catch up with them, you know, they, they wouldn't even have that, you know. Yes, you know, tragedy. I suppose tragedy any time a culture dies, uh, or is taken over, but I'm not one for appreciating culture anyway. So, I like change. I like change even if it's a bad thing. Um, change is good. Staying in one space, staying in one spot is bad. You must always strive for change. Otherwise, you'll never go up. Right? You may very well go down, but you'll never go up. If that, if that makes sense. I think I can take this off now. Alright, let's take a look at it real quick. That is nice and tight. And it's good, you can still move the crystal, that's always good. Because, you know, there's, there's always a better spot than other parts of it. So the the worst spot is at the very bottom there. So beautiful. The crystal, I mean. I mean, the metal is too, but it's not done. Not really sure what I'm going to do with these, but uh, we can do something. Yeah. Whew. That's just... That's just awful, you know. It's like, please forgive me if I have little respect for people who live in the dirt. You know, when you have the option of not living in the dirt. Don't get me wrong, I mean, it's still okay to live in the dirt, and I wouldn't mind doing it either. But, uh, I mean, I need toilets. I need toilets. It's not, okay, let me rephrase that. It's not that I don't have respect for it. It's I don't understand how... If you have the option of having a toilet, why on earth would you not have one? It makes no sense to me. Yeah, it, yeah, exactly. You know, it's just like irony on so many levels. All right, let's see how well I can do this with a band-aid on.
Only bottled, yeah. Well, even close by in Mexico, right, is that, um, you know, people want to say they have pride in their culture, pride in their heritage, and things like that. And, uh, you know, America's got its own problems, but Mexico still practices in heinous crimes against animals, like, um, armadillo racing and, um, bull, um, uh, What is that? Uh, bull rings, I guess? I'm trying to remember what they call it. Yeah, exactly. It's like the. It's, um, it's a hard thing to find anything better. Uh, uh, something that's better than America. It's good to live here. And uh, visit other countries as opposed to the other way around. And I think we all know who's going to rule the world one day, right? Canada. <laughs> After Singapore, is that Canada? <laughs> I hope it's Canada, because I totally called that shit. have to be caught up on, but I'm gonna work on this for a second. Yeah, but does it have religious freedom? Well, that's all I could do.
All right. All right, I think we can move these up now. There we go. So, side, side. here somewhere. Surely. Surely. Ay, Chihuahua. Oh, we're about to hit two hours. Where is my damn ruler? I actually might need to use the restroom for a second. Uh, yeah. yeah. If you guys don't mind entertaining each other for a minute, I'm going to use the restroom. Uh. Oh, here. second guy. All right, sorry. We were just being really silly, making a bunch of weird noises. Um, all right, we'll get back to this. Let's take a look at it real quick. So I got a lot of adding to do. Maybe like, like that, perhaps. 
I don't want to be straight down. I want it to kind of come back as a uh, come back like a knife. Maybe put it somewhere. Huh? Maybe I should close that and. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's do that next. So you're doing your artifact thing? Yeah, that is like an artifact, isn't it? If it was four-sided, four symmetry, that would be an artifact, right? It would be like, um, you know, just like, there's the achievement at the end of the at the end of the path. We have to go get it. We have to, to fight all these creatures to get to this artifact. Like da 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 da, you now have opened uh, uh, the key. This is the key for the boss fight. Hang on, hang on, just think. The amethyst, the, amethyst, artifact. the amethyst artifact that unlocks the boss area. It's like you have to achieve this to get to go on to the next thing. Too much fun. That'd be a lot of fun. Definitely be a really interesting thing to get into for uh, you know gaming, that kind of thing. Although I'd have to make something like that they are familiar with, I guess, if, in, in a sense. Oh, hang on. Oh, I gotta... I wanna catch up on this, uh, on this drama. Oh, shit. Oh, right, I have to. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, my brother and I were talking. <laughs> I actually probably wonder if I should keep it unmuted just because of how silly we can be sometimes. <coughs> oh, I bet. Yeah, I mean, the strong survive in those uh, um, situations. Puke green. Oh, I, I was... That was my... Uh, uh, it was something... I remember the green screen in elementary school when it was like the first computers in the schools ever, you know, and they were just like, you know, simple math equations. Oh right, so we're gonna we're gonna close up that and then open it up again in a in a, um, a lower small area. This is where that comes in handy. So on on this side is an anchor. So on this side is an anchor there. But not on this side. So this is an awful, uh, excuse me, an awesome opportunity to, uh, oops, excuse me, to um, make that symmetrical by anchoring it here instead of up here. So if you if you always, uh, uh, you know, I always want to keep that in mind. Is um, always have a plan for that sort of thing. Um, unfortunately, you won't have much luck with stuff like that. You know, but all you can do is just make it the exact same on the other side. I, I mean, I could get rid of them, I guess. I guess so, maybe, but I don't know. I'll think about it at the very end, see if it's worth um, worrying about.
40. Yeah, I actually just turned 30 and on the 15th of Ju uh, June. probably won't need more than a few loops maybe five or so love this music <coughs> you know all of this music is available on YouTube um, audio list I and all of it is uh, royalty free so I don't have to do any kind of like uh, this is the music I'm playing in my disc description or whatever I think she's, uh... I certainly don't want to get that far. 60 seems like too much for me. Unless I care some, you know, healthy walking around. Got all my teeth and whatnot. Or at least fake ones. the new 40 feel great yeah I mean yeah I'll certainly if I am not able to go to the bathroom by myself that'll be when I'm done other than that I think I'll be fine with whatever comes Good. 
But it's really coming in. Exactly, yeah. Uh, I was uh, very impressed with Canada when they came out with their Die with Dignity Act, where it would allow people who were uh, who were in either excruciating pain, or or they just you know they were a vegetable, you know that kind of thing. Like um, um, that allowed people to say, "Look, I'm done living. I don't want to do it anymore," and uh, uh, you know you go through the process. Kind of like when people threaten that they're gonna commit suicide. I, I, my, I always tell them that's your choice. You know, nobody can make you do that, and uh, and if it's it's entirely up to you. You know. And hopefully, they make the right choice. So kind of like when my dad's mom died. Um, you know, I. I didn't know what to say. I was like, maybe you might want to talk to Desiree about it, because <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna be good, good to, uh, good to vent to. Desiree is my sister. When a good friend of mine, who was uh, essentially the mother of, of my best friend growing up, when she died of, of cancer, um, I was 16, and it um, it was a really big loss. She was like a second mom to me, you know, and um, I cried for maybe an hour, and uh, by the end of it, I was laughing over... All the crazy stuff that we had been through and um, that was all I needed I just grieved for you know a day and um, it wasn't even the right it, it was you know I cried at the funeral of course but it was like three or four months before I had my good like like solid cry for an hour um, and uh, and after that it was you know I still think about her and stuff like that um, in fact, I actually dedicated a big round orb that is uh, floating on water in the, um, the Cancer Survivors Plaza in Dallas. Um, and uh, I named that orb Susan in her honor, in her name, or memory, or whatever you want to call it. She didn't really die of cancer. She died of lack of access to treatment. That she didn't have insurance before she was diagnosed. And, um, that essentially was what got her. Oh yeah, that's good. I'm glad to hear it. Hopefully, uh, those programs make it a little bit difficult to go through with it, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta go through certain years of therapy, or certain treatments, or something like that. It'd be really interesting to find out what the actual process is. I'm definitely not willing to make it out like I am suicidal to find out. <laughs> Cause I am anything but. Like, um, it has never occurred to me that dying was an appropriate action for anything that has happened in my life. Maybe I'm just lucky, but, uh, I've never had the feeling of, I just want to end it all, right? Like, um, I've never had the feeling of, it's never going to end, you know? Um, so, I guess, I guess I'm just fortunate in that sake. In that sense. Certainly before my mom dies. Hell no. I'm not killing myself before my mom dies. You know, like what that would do to my mom. Or even, you know, my dad of course too. But um, certainly I wouldn't do that to my mom.
Alright, it looks like we are symmetrical once more. Sick of fighting, sick of this man. Yeah, and um, as as uh, as I was saying before, it's my stance on suicide is that um, I can't. Uh, it would be. Would it be worse to make someone not do it if they were so willing to do so? Um, and in in that sense, do you want to enable somebody who? really won't um and is just looking for attention right um so it's it's very difficult to under, uh to balance um sympathy and uh um and uh um, what am i trying to think of here sympathy and tough love i guess is what i would i guess is the word i'm looking for Because the people who are serious about it, you don't even know. My stepdad uh, killed himself, and we didn't even know he was sick. He didn't even tell us that he was gonna uh, that he was gonna have his he had shingles in the eyes, and he was gonna have them scooped out. So he took his life instead. And um, I only really liked the guy as long as he was making my mom happy, and uh, that was definitely not something that made my mom happy. And uh, so I am pretty bitter about it. But I definitely respect his decision, um, despite how much it screwed up my mom. Um, there's nothing we could have done to um, expect him to just live with that. Um, so, yeah. We'll just, yeah, we'll just leave it there, I guess. Oh man. Yeah, I I uh, I had stopped applying for disability when I found out what it really was. Um, my dad was like, "You need to get on disability right away," and um, and it all the questions were like, "Can you walk up and down stairs?" And I'm like, "Yes." You know, "Can you stand for a long periods of time?" And I'm like, um. Well, yes, you know, and I'm just like, okay, well, all this doesn't, uh, all this is not, this it doesn't sound good, <laughs> you know, I don't sound disabled, and, uh, when I found out that my doctor has over 500, um, patients, and only two of them are on disability, I was like, alright, yeah, I guess, let's, uh, let's, I'm not, I don't qualify, <laughs> it's like, I'll leave it for people who really need it. Um, and it actually turns out all my bills are paid for, uh, anyway, excuse me, all my medical stuff is paid for anyway through the Ryan White Foundation. So it's not like I'm, it's not like I'm desperate for being able to afford my medicine because it's pretty much state mandated, uh, it's pretty much state mandated that I take it 
And if I don't take it, they're going to come after me. Um, and if I evade them, then I can face prison time. So you always want to take it seriously when the government shows up at your door when you're diagnosed with something like a, a spreadable disease. So your, um, your best bet is to just play it safe <laughs> and not piss off the government uh, and just be a good, good guy and a good little ki uh, good guy and take your pills and take your um, medicine, that kind of thing. Plus, if I don't, I'll die, so there's also that. Sorry about that. I had to go mute for a second. For sure, it's a, I definitely, I, you know, I think about your mom all the time, and I, I think about you and your mom all the time. I, I hope you're well. It doesn't sound like it, but I always want to hope that you're well. <coughs> Even at the peak of my not liking you, <coughs> when I saw her foot, it just broke my heart. Okay, so we are at a point here where we can make some decisions. Um, Oh, good. <coughs> I'm glad to hear that. Huh. Um... Oh, that's right. I was looking for my ruler. <coughs> I guess I know where another one is. It's just going to be a pain in the ass to go get it. It was amidst my aluminum. Aluminium. Alumina. Ow. Kinda did smack it a bit. So let's look at it here. Uh, kind of ignore these bits here. Let me get the table set back up. So uh, let me riff some ideas at your way. I'm thinking... 
if I come up to a point here, maybe it's taking on too much of a shape and maybe it's too tall. So how is a boot? We do something along these lines here where it's going to go out. the agate pendant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. sun tea that's where you have like a little flower uh that uh, essentially blooms in the tea is that right sun tea brewing also oh or maybe that's tea that's um literally brewed by the sun <laughs> No, I could just go straight from here to here, or even here. I like it. Now, if I test it out, unfortunately, how about I get a wire in here? Let's get, let's let me find a wire real fast. In fact, this would be the time to start adding aluminum before I start connecting these bits. So maybe I should put some aluminum on these long um, additions here. We find some wire. Some wire. It's a pretty nice circle. We don't want to mess with that one. Uh. Oh, that's funny. I, I remember working on that. Just trying to make a uh, somewhat of a chunky, simple pendant. I might actually work <coughs> work on that one again one day. Wow, this isn't gonna work, John. It's just the sheer virtue of it being fucking bent as all hell. here okay <laughs> okay I see what you're saying ay 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 this is all just to test it out Yeah, I think I like that. Oh, it's a half. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I have quite a few actually. Um, like one in particular is this mask that I haven't picked up since the last time I put it down. Oh well, that's a kind of silly thing to say, but <clears throat> the built-in headphones and whatnot. 
then there's of course that large two-dimensional tree that I uh, will one day finish maybe probably not so I think that I'm going to do that what am I going to attach to it down here though who knows let's just roll with it Perfectus. Now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with the rest of this little bit right here. I think I could. Sorry, I'm just thinking. Uh... Oh yeah, yeah. And you know, it's um. I think that's just indicative of very talented people. Where, um, it's like I'm fed up with this project. I I don't want to pick it up, and and it's because I I don't know. For me, I think that uh, it has a lot to do with either losing interest with uh, how much labor is already putting into it. 
and uh, and another one is uh, I didn't like it enough to finish it. That kind of thing. Oh my gosh, it looks like a freaking spaceship. Holy crap. Or it will. Spaceship from like Star Wars. Oh my god, it really does look like a spaceship. That is so fucking awesome. <laughs> like Jet Li. That's so fucking cool. So cool! Pretty freaking sweet. Save that for later. I think it's time to get the hammer. I, 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 I. Look at that. Looks like fucking spaceship. Mm -hmm. Look at him. I say, look at him. Yeah, he, he was looking at it, guys. Looking for a the friggin' swiddles. <laughs> swiddles. Sweet towels. Alright, I think I need the hammer. The anvil and the hammer. Oopsie poopsie. That insult was so sharp that it hurt. Did that hurt? It's like, uh oh. Um, uh oh. Huh.
Yeah, for sure, uh, Brian King. I, uh, um, I'll have to bring that up because, you know, it's definitely over 100, that's for sure. Quite a bit. I'm going to continue hammering for just a second. Uh, hammer the rest of that later. Never hammered as I go. Massaging it? No. You're not. You, swollen, you should. Ay, ouch. No. If, if it's bruised, it's bad to massage it. But if it's swollen, that's like you gotta get them fluids moving. Would you like me to help you out? Whoa, that's crazy. That was so very nice of them to like randomly call you to help, me out. to help you out with something like that. Like they must be awesome people. <laughs> it's impressive whenever they find your extended board. I know, right? And the funny thing is they don't even know who your name is. It's like like, you haven't even said who I am. Yeah. Or what I'm driving. Or what I'm driving, exactly. It's like, oh no, this is serious. Well, what do they do? I never give them the time. <laughs> yeah. Lady of Lake Fork, hello! Check it out, it's looking like Star Wars. Looking like a Star Wars spaceship. Tie No, it's, uh, the... Hello there. Uh, movie. The second one of the prequilogies. <laughs> prequilogies. Well, number two. <laughs> number two, yeah. Of the movie chronologically. I actually had to adjust the uh, um, the pool monster, right? Because it it just keeps spinning in circles and circles and circles. Someone had jammed it all the way to the right, and it was just like just call it in total circles, uh, tangling itself up. So I had to like reach down there and fix it. didn't do this right.
trying to figure out a better way to hold it. Oh man, goodness, a thousand bucks, that'd be crazy. That'd be so crazy to sell this for a thousand bucks. Certainly, that would be a terrible thing to do to the person <laughs> that's doing the commission, but um, certainly if I were selling it at like a, um, you know, selling to somebody I wasn't <laughs> friends with. <laughs> Someday someone's gonna find this in uh, in their grandparents' attic, um, and it's uh, you know they're gonna be like, "Wow, look at that! Holy crap! I gotta put my signature on it somehow." Oh, I can put it on the stand. Well, how on earth would I signature this? I could, huh? I wonder if I have access to a Dremel. I'll think of something. Oh, for sure, yeah, I need to... I uh, See, I'm not really... I'm not really terribly interested in selling it for metaphysical purposes. I'm more interested in selling it to people who have a million dollar budget to decorate their house with. You know, like, that would be my... my, uh, um, interest. Uh, you know, the, the clientele I'm interested in. Gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with those. I'm sure I will think of something. Alright, so I am at a point here where I can do a few things. I could end it here and leave that perfectly the way it is because it's totally perfect and I love it because it's perfect uh, or I can do what I can to connect that but I think that that little step might be actually better than continuing it from there so I think that's what I'm gonna do it's, it's different from what I had perfect uh, had imagined in the beginning but I think it's a good direction um, yeah. Let's take care of that.
Alright, so I'm just gonna do a test on here. Take it easy, Brian King. Thanks for stopping by. I was always always glad uh, always glad to have you. I think I might go with the uh, smaller hook. Excuse me, this one. Hmm. Yeah. Like a placard or something. I was gonna do a placard for the anniversary part too. Um, I suppose it wouldn't be too difficult to. Well, I can't put it on the bottom because the light has to be able to go through it. If all else fails, I think I'm going to um, etch my uh, some kind of signature into the um, into the crystal somewhere, and uh, um, in the in the ugliest part of the crystal, so it can be out of the, out of the way. Um, that's probably what I'm gonna wind up doing. I believe I have access to a Dremel somewhere. I think Dad has one. John, you know if Dad has a Dremel? You know if Dad has a Dremel? I'm pretty sure Scott has a Dremel. At any rate, I'll figure it out before I go. Uh, before before it's done. Give the meat for some time. Oh yeah. No, I definitely am excited to uh, leave behind a some sort of legacy. That'd be really neat.
There we go. Now, all I gotta do is... Oh, right. Let me, uh, take it one step at a time. For sure, Fort Lake. Uh, excuse me, Lake Fork. Or Lady, actually, would probably be a better way to put it. Now I have to figure out what I'm going to do with these, uh... Sticking out. It's not the final thing. I really need to get get these things taken care of. But how? How on earth am I going to do this? have to come around.
I'm afraid not. It uh, there just isn't enough wire to make a properly struck uh, proper structure for a stand. I think I'm just going to add it to the uh, shape up here.
Hmm. I guess I should think about securing it uh, quite a bit more. Like here. How did I do that? How did I manage to make it worse? It's a power I was born with. No, oh, I should have flattened that out. <sighs> Crap. But ever.
just don't even know how I'm going to anchor this thing. I guess I could... Actually, I think I'll th take a thicker wire. We're nearly done with this, guys. At least it's at a uh, very nearly at a part where I can stop.
Yeah, a little one for you. It certainly didn't come out the, the way it looked in the picture, um, and I think I could still do more with it, but it is definitely coming along quite nicely. I just have one more thing I need to do to make it symmetrical. Okay, now that looks like a spaceship fighter jet thing, cool, super awesome tool thing.
It's looking pretty sweet. You know, and even in your imagination, you can see kind of a heart there, where it's uh, coming down. Just need to make a better stand. I have. To, I'm probably gonna have to make one by hand. Uh, it didn't exactly come out the way I wanted it to in the picture, but I had to take the opportunity to uh, experiment uh, with this idea. And um, uh, that certainly is a spot that can be stopped. So um, uh, at least I'm going to give the the person who wants to make the, the person who made the commission the opportunity to see if he wants to go further into detail. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to stop that from coming up. I guess I'm not done just yet. <laughs> Malachite would be good too. I agree. Um, there's definitely a large number of of, uh, of variations that could be made of this uh, trophy style piece. <laughs> Very much looking forward to uh, working on my next one after this. I need to get onto some tiaras, and uh, I don't have any more of these size crystals, but in the future it would definitely be really interesting to get into it. Maybe in four dimensions, or sorry, four sides instead of just the two. That'd be really fun. Internet is looping, oh man. That's no bueno.
Oh, dang it. One more side. It actually looks like the problem side. Be something I deal with. Music stopped.
I was mute. That's really funny. So, I was, yep, I was mute. But at least I get a second chance of what I was saying, I guess. <laughs> Whatever. Um, I was saying that this is at a nice stopping point where the, uh, the cl I guess, client in this case is uh, uh, able to give the go-ahead to either continue or if this is good enough and we can... It's a nice... Um, I think that's a nice... Yeah? Let me check that out. Mm. Is this a good mm. Definitely... Uh, Definitely pro uh, liking that. Can't wait to see what my next one looks like. Alrighty, you take it easy, guys. <laughs>